They grew up together as foster brothers. To Larry Smith, Jordan Neely was his big brother, best friend, and mentor. He would always tell me things that he would rather be alone than unhappy. Smith says the two were products of a broken foster care system. They first met after they were both placed in a foster care home in the Marcy houses years ago. Smith describes tough times and being moved from home to home over four years. Four years of betrayal, rejection, four years of nervousness, four years of abandonment, four years of pain. Eventually, they both aged out of the foster care system. Smith and Neely both ended up homeless, living on the streets of the city. This is one way Neely would get money for food. Impersonating Michael Jackson on the trains, Smith was right there. He would do the whole, the Billy Jean, and I would sit there and I'd have the hat that he gave me for Michael Jackson and collect a couple of dollars. He used that because foster parents were abusing us. Smith says Neely tried to get help from the city, but fell through the cracks. There's no reason why Jordan was on the Section 8 list for so long and never got picked. There's no reason why foster care youth have been on the list for over a decade. I have not even got picked. But last week, the music, the struggles, the memories, good and bad, went dark after Neely was killed in a chokehold on a subway train. Video of the incident went viral, sparking outrage. Justice for Jordan Neely. And calls for the man seen choking Neely to be arrested and prosecuted. I want to see a conviction, a charge. Smith and many others believe what happened to Neely could have happened to anyone battling mental illness and homelessness. Smith fears he could have ended up just like Neely living on the streets. He lived to 30 years old in New York, homeless. That's rare. Not a lot of people make it to 30 years old sleeping on a train car on a bridge. But even without permanent housing, Smith tells PIX11 News, Neely helped him find his way. He helped me with my college application to get into my college where I'm on my way to take my finals right now. Now that his brother is gone, Smith says it's his life mission to get justice, not only for Neely, but for so many others. Jordan never wanted money. Jordan wanted food. Jordan wanted resources. Jordan wanted a home. Smith is also a community activist fighting for foster care reform. He says he will continue to do so. He is a college student, but while on break, it's back to homelessness for Smith. In Astoria, Queens, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.